What is the food like in Walt Disney World? Which restaurants are worth booking? Which snacks should not be missed? And what are all these dining plans about? In this video, I'm sharing everything we ate during our seven night trip to Walt Disney World. Expect all of the restaurants, menus and prices, plus honest reviews of each restaurant and snack. We had the table service dining plan, so I'll be explaining exactly how that worked for us, plus sharing need to know tips for making the most of it. I'm Ree, welcome to the channel Mummy of Four Does Disney. Now bring on all of that Walt Disney World food. I brought loads of cereal bars and snacks from home. So for breakfast first thing each morning we had some cereal bars to keep us going until we got into the parks to get into the Disney snacks. So after an emergency dash to the toilets, Rapunzel's toilet. Bless her Rapunzel. She only gets toilets but they're very pretty toilets. She's seventh favourite princess. She's such a favourite princess. I'm so offended. <laughs> She's so offended. Anyway we did a quick mobile order. We've got two adults meals and one children's meal out of our dining plan tokens we've spent. One portion of chicken tenders for the children. One portion of chicken tenders as an adult portion and then all meat flatbread and then we'll have the other two meals a little bit later on because if we order all five meals now half the food will be left on the table and to be honest we'd rather try different food wouldn't we uh -huh. and Pinocchio's village house is where we ate brother's meal after the last one we're not going to copy the whole trip like blow by blow honest it's just um this first bit you know like our favorite rides so yeah first bit's a bit reminiscent stuff, you know? exactly so right let's get eating because i'm food. starving and then we're gonna go on we need the food <laughs> yes it's raining it's raining quite a lot, and my I husband has all the pack away back. You're right, Zara. It is always better to be wet in Disney than to be dry anywhere else. Show me the dolphin. So we're literally soaked through. We've just been to Storybook Treats to get some snacks. We've got the Aurora cone which is literally melting, it's so warm, it's just melting right in front of our eyes. The question is, is it nice? Mm -hmm. uh, by the time I got out here, I was fussy, I couldn't get my pin thing to work on my dining plan. By the time I managed to um, stop paying, yeah, it was melting. Oh my goodness. This Rapunzel one is so good. So, um, William, we've given up on the cone, which um, William is literally, you look like you've been attacked by a blue monster. <laughs> Luckily, this is why I pack wet wipes in the children's bag. This Rapunzel ice cream is delicious. William, do we remember what this is? It's a Rapunzel sundae. Mm. And it's got Dole Whip lemon, I believe. Mm. And it also has some um, vanilla sauce. It has. I'm not so fast on the like whipped cream of it, because as we know, I'm not fast on that. But there's also something under here. Do you want some of this sauce? There's cake under here, Will. I found cake in the bottom. You just shoved that whole thing in. William's face is the same colour as his t-shirt. There's cake under here, look. Mm. Try that. Look at Zara. Oh my goodness, no, Zara looks like. A... We're all a mess. We're all a mess. Does anyone get your. Yeah, the... you've got white in your bag. The... Okay, we're not we're great. We're it melts. Why do you pack wipes for your kids, three? They're not babies. Hmm. <laughs> Tap to my children with ice cream all over their faces. The blue monster is hacked. Zara's got it up her nose. Right, the Rapunzel, the Dole Whip in that Rapunzel you. stuff is lovely. It's really sharp and citrusy Mommy, and refreshing. It's exactly what I need. I haven't tried any of the blue Aurora ones. So Bella, come around nice. here, darling. The white is literally Mommy. blue now. Right, oh, we've decanted the Aurora ice cream into um, a pot. Have we got it anywhere else? Have we known? Oh, that's no. delicious. That isn't as sharp or tangy as the um, these two desserts are more than enough between the four of us. The cakey stuff, I was not expecting this cakey stuff underneath. It kind of all works together quite nicely. I love the fresh raspberries there. Mm. I can just taste Dole Whip Lemon, it's like really nice. The Dole Whip Lemon is insanely good. Mm. Apologies I couldn't show you a really pretty version of the Aurora one. It looks super Instagrammable. But, Until it melted. But yes. Our day may not look Instagrammable right now, but we're having so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got two types of Dole Whips here. We've got a strawberry and an orange. So we had a raspberry and a pineapple when we came in 2022. We had the lemon earlier in the Rapunzel Sunday, which I've got to say the lemon on its own would have been plenty. And this strawberry one, I'm loving. Well, what about the orange? We've it's never had an orange. It's like a Calippo. Oh, is it? It's like Calippo flavour? Yeah. Will's right. It tastes like a Calippo. But creamier. But creamy. So it's the flavour of a Calippo, not the texture of a Calippo, but it's definitely the flavour of a Calippo. Mm. 
So we're all seated. We have got our sodas, as they call them, here in the States, that are included in the meal when paying with the dining plan, but also I think just when you pay for the buffet. You see Mickey Minnie? You, saw, you see Mickey Minnie? No I see way. And they have a chef hat. That is so cool. Well, before, before, okay, shh, don't tell anyone. Um, before they get here, I was just explain about what we're gonna have. So I now need to order a cocktail because I get an included cocktail with the dining plan meal. So it would be kind of rude to say no to that. So I could get a glass of Prosecco or a white wine or a glass of Sangria or there's non-alcoholic cocktail offerings or all these different cocktails. Which one do I choose? <laughs> looks amazing. I've got myself a bit of a mishmash, but I've got a load of salad, some butter chicken, some noodles. It's all absolutely divine. So we nipped off in between seeing some characters. My strategy was to take all of the children with me so the characters wouldn't come to the table and that they could just come back when we came back from eating food. Hey Pluto! Members just popping around, checking with all the tables. Did we get? To, did everyone get to meet all five characters? Which I think is really nice to make sure that no one misses out because that's always a bit of a, a concern, I think, when you're doing buffet dining. Like, I do you want to go and get food? Ooh. But it's fine. Everyone gets to see everyone. How's your food? Delish. But you know, one time we did miss out actually, but in Plaza Gardens back in in Paris. Paris we actually didn't meet Eeyore, but then when we were going, because it was time to go outside, we saw that. We saw him on the way out, didn't we? Now that was because we were actually running out then at that point, because we misjudged the time of the fireworks, didn't we? And we were running a little bit late. If you go back to the Halloween, not like October 2022 vlog series, you'll see all of that, where we did all the Halloween stuff in Disneyland Paris. Um, and had that little um, encounter 
in um, in Plaza Gardens, which is kind of the equivalent to Crystal Palace here in Walt Disney World. This is because it's Bella's birthday just before we left, and you two, as soon as we get off. back. Okay, we'll one, one, two, two three. three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to the three of you. Happy birthday to you. Collective, blow out the candle, make a wish. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Try your food. So, first day I have. Well, I did have a nice food, but it was very cold. Oh, we go. Excellent. Try this food, sir. Anyways, yeah. Me eat the food, okay? I'm going to try this. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Snack pack. I would like to try You rip the bottom off the cake and put it on the top. Let's just ruin your snack. made a bit of a rookie mistake, dropped my cake. I had to go and get another one. Anyway, now we can cut to pretending that didn't happen and um, trying the food and the figment drinks. So the kids have got these smoothies in these figment cups. They're actually eating the like creamy stuff off the top with Skittles in it. What, what's your thoughts on it so far? Um, they're very crunchy, the Skittles. Oh, it's probably because they're cold. Oh, probably, yeah. Nice try though? Cake. Of course, try some cake. Ooh. Yeah, the smoothie in the bottom is nice. Yeah, yeah, I got some of the purple layer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> some of the purple layer. I'm, I'm going to try some of this cake. What do you think? It's good? Mmm. It's very gungy. Oh, it's oh, it's weird. It's like... It's very fruity. It's a, it's a cake that tastes like Skittles. I, they're not joking. Can mm. you describe the cake? It tastes really nice, but... It's, it's got Skittles in it, apparently. Yeah. And that's what, it does actually taste like Skittles. No, they're not lumpy Skittles, it's, really it's like... Oh, your figment smoothie. smoothie. Go on then. Good? Mm. What's it taste like? Grapes. Grapes? Very grapey, is it? Yeah. Wow. It's great. Oh, I get it. Grapey. Mm. Can you taste the Skittles? Can you taste the rainbow? There are crunchy bits in it. Not like a whole Skittles, just tiny crunchy bits. There are whole Skittles on the top, throughout the sponge. It's like Skittle dust. Actually, they're crunchy bits. Are they? And the bits around the Skittles, they're just bigger. Mmm, And nice. It's not totally easy to cut. Uh, it is probably easier to cut on the side. And then we've got this, which I'm guessing is gonna be like the tart thing in Hollywood Studios. So, we can break in half. With some mood blue lighting. Oh, it's like jam. You'll have both halves. There you go. Girls, are you gonna try two? Split that one. Mmm. Mm. It's says pastry, but it's like really soft shortbread. Yeah. With like a jammy thing. And, oh, and the icing is delicious. Jam, this really right, yeah. I really like that. Yeah, it's very nice. Mmm. Give it a go, Zab. No, don't like it? No. No, not for you. Think. Bells? I've already had some. What do you think? It was really nice. Go for it then, Zaz. I'll try the smoothie. Oh, so, quite creamy. Alright. Do you like it? What are the flavours? Oh, um... I can't really tell. William says great. Okay, maybe it's great. Figment's changing. He is changing colour. He's going less purple. As you drain his imagination. <laughs> oh no!
you're doing Connections Eatery, not to be confused with Connections Bakery, which just has more sort of snack type things. We've ordered a bit of food. I think I've ordered too much food actually, um, and we're eating again in four hours, so. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> gone for chicken strips no surprises there they have got these cute little oranges with them and some apple juice will is over 10 so therefore an adult in disney pricing so he's gone for an adult chicken burger meal i went for two slices of pizza which turn out to be the biggest slices of pizza i've ever seen in my life um but look very tasty let's eat some of this so we can get on with our day previously discussed it seems to be it's too much food for us this was an adult meal this is how much I've got left William are you gonna finish those fries can you no Bella has managed one of her two massive chicken tenders and most of the fries how about you are you gonna manage um, much more I had um, my orange and Bella had one of her orange she didn't like it so I have it okay but what about the rest of the chicken tenders no no, Daddy for ate earlier. He did manage to take a photograph of his food. He said he bought somewhere in the China Pavilion. Can't say exactly where, and didn't actually take any more photos. But he did take a picture of his food. So well done, Daddy of four. So, um, and I now you're having a go at my pizza. And I ate it. And I ate it with chopsticks. Did you? Well done. Um, you're just eating the crust of my pizza. The pizza does taste very nice, but I will comment that it was very oily. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, this is why we're better off sharing food in Disney, guys, because we could never finish it all. And we have to eat again in now three and a half think of this place? It's cool. Right, you're gonna have a drink? Yeah. Let's go. What do you think of that? It's really nice. It's like exotic. Do you want to try some of mine? Yeah. Okay. Which one's this? The Java juice. Java juice. It's like berry but it's pineapple but it's orange. Yeah? It's really okay. good. Interesting combo of flavor. It's all pretty fancy, it feels like we're on the Star Wars set or there's a little dude up there, a DJ dude. He used to be in Star Wars. He used to be, sorry? He used to be in Star Wars. Did he? Yeah. So who's in Star Wars, Star Wars now? Uh, right, yeah. Java Juice. Actually, um, surprisingly good. Want to try mine? Uh, I'm zooming in the mist. We're looking berries. Apologies for the lights, there's sort of LEDs everywhere, so it's causing problems with the camera. I'm going to try a bit of Williams now just to test it. Oh, hang on, camera. Yes. Mm, not bad, not bad. I prefer the Java juice, so. What about you? This one, this one's quite refreshing. I probably prefer that one though. Okay. Well, I think we got 45 minutes in here, reasonably. Um, um, you're supposed to look at the camera when I'm talking to you. Oh. Um, I was. Yeah, too busy. Yeah. Right. Deep robot we got about, I think we've got about half an hour left in here, so we're going to make the most of it, I think. I'm going to have a check it out. And I think just enjoy the drinks, and then when they're gone, listen we'll to the, head listen to, their to the vibes and, you know. Do some shapes, make some shapes. Right oh. And now we're going on the Millennium Falcon after oh, yeah. some 
gorgeous drink. Let's see if we can fly it. Are we going to yeah. fly it? We well, go. like we'll, we'll, we'll... We're going to ask, we're going to well, ask the yeah, guest can... relations or whatever they Not are. Not guest relations. Guest relations, no. No. Guest relations, It'll no. just be whoever's just whoever, putting us in the know, thing. Team Disney. We could yeah. just ask someone. We're going to ask them if we like, go in. Yeah, well, friends. well... And yeah. Why the Millennium Falcon? Because there it is, look. It's all in the details. Yeah. Right. We're back after the Millennium Falcon. And now we're going to try some green milk and a Tino Swill, which has blue milk in it. Go on then, get into it. The green Go milk on. we're going to start with. It's really exotic. It's like amazing. I'm going to try, try the, the, the blue milk and raspberry sauce. Yeah. And whatever those things are. I suppose you'd like it, yes? Why was that? It's like a. I don't know, it's really nice, but it's like it's just like a slush puppy type of ice. Nice. Cold on the old team. I'm gonna try mine. Mm, I think I prefer the green, but yeah, yeah it's good. Okay. Do you want to try the green try, now? The green. You should try the green. Let's have a look. Yeah, the so green, which is I, your actually, favorite? I actually like the blue one. Um, I mean, I like the sweet things in it, but, yeah. and, but I prefer the green one. Just, okay. I'm just thinking it might disagree. be. A, for me, it's a little bit cold to be drinking, sort of frozen milk. Yeah, but we're in Disney, so no yeah. one. Okay. <laughs> Look what we found. It's green milk. It's really nice. We found it's William, like we found milk. Daddy of Four, we found Star Wars green milk. What do you think? It's actually really nice. Is it? What does it taste? Oh, sorry, go on. Oh, go on. Go for it. No. Zara, do you want to try green milk, blue milk? Is it actually milk? There's milk in it. There's milk in it. But I think it's just like... Is it worth it? Like a slush puppy milk. Like a slush puppy milk. So are you glad... It's only a little bit milky, really, but it's like slush puppy as well. So if people are getting the blue or the green, which is better? Um, We got like the upgraded version. Okay. Blue, blue like the, oh, so it's got stuff in it. Got, like, okay. Um, but which is better? I personally prefer the green. Is that why there's more of it food. gone? <laughs> That's just because I'm, like, I'm drinking a lot of it. Okay. Um, you prefer the blue? Yeah, right, just, it's just too cold for me on a day. It is pretty, yeah. I mean, it does. It's pretty Skittles cool. Have Skittles floating, but sunk now. Walt Disney World seems to be a bit obsessed with Skittles at the moment. We had Skittle cake yeah, and Skittle earlier. Yeah. yeah. They're putting Skittles in everything. They say Skittles in everything, I tell you. We've already met many. This place is really fun, all 50s themed, and I think we used to get a bit stressed out with character dining if it was a buffet, like, oh, what if we meet the characters? But the, the um, cast members are so good, they're just really, it's just really a case of saying, look, we haven't seen this character yet, and they will come back. They will always come back. Um, and in fact, last night we were at Chef Mickey's, and they came around and said, have you seen all four characters, or all five characters, I think it was last night? And we were like, yeah, it's all good. Right, let's take a look at the food. So Hollywood and Vine is an all you care to enjoy buffet. It was table service last time we were here because, you know, COVID, but two years later, here we are and the buffet is back. The buffet's got very similar feel to it, we feel, to Chef Mickey's last night. The food all looks delicious, 
So we've got the Disney dining plan, which means as adults, we have a soda type drink plus an alcoholic drink included. William has a soda drink and a non-alcoholic drink included because he's old enough to charge to be an adult, but not old enough to drink, obviously, because he's only not yet 12, but very nearly. <laughs> and then the girls have got kids meals, so they have got soft drinks. Um, they really like the Minute Maid lemon, which is like a flat, like a cloudy lemonade and they love it. We can't get it back home and they absolutely love it. Right, I'm now going to dig in to some of this delicious looking food. Mmm. We don't normally go for tofu. This flavour is gorgeous. Wells, how's the Shirley Temple? As you mock down. Good. Good. Girls? How are your food choices? You enjoy, anything you're particularly enjoying? Um, anything you can recommend? That? Yeah, I really, I, I haven't tried this. It's way too tough. But oh, thank you so much. So you've got the bread roll. You were very excited to see the garlic crushed thank potatoes. You. Have you eaten those already? I know they're under there. Mm -hmm. So you always like to choose just a salad. You always tend to just go for cucumber and carrot, don't you? And what That's else have you gone for? Salad I like. Yeah, and you've got olives. You love olives. The others, not fast on olives. You mm. love them. What? Um, what are your favourite bits from this so far, Will? Um, I've only actually ate bread and water. Oh, bread and so water. Right. Really okay, we'll come back to you. Bella, what are you enjoying? The turkey's really nice. The turkey. Oh, it's sliced off in front of you, isn't it? Delicious. Yeah. And I've just got a whole load of various bits. Lucky. Yummy. Now let's check out some of these desserts. Bella, how's that soft serve looking for you? Good. Yeah, delicious. Mm -hmm. Well, what have you got? Um, chicken noodle soup. Oh, okay, you're not on dessert, you've got chicken noodle soup, okay. And Zara, how's the cookie treating you? I'm really good, I don't eat cheese like that. That is a carrot cake. No. No? <laughs> what was that face? Um, maybe. <laughs> that was a no thanks to carrot cake face. Bunnies like it and Bunny does, so maybe I should try I mean, maybe, maybe. So I have Number. gone for a sugar cookie, a normal cookie and I've really made a mess of this but this is Mississippi mud pie. Okay moment of truth I didn't get too much of the creamy stuff because I'm just not that into cream. This I think it just looks like chocolate cake and goo which look, I mean it looks pretty good. It also had Oreos on it. Mmm. It is nice. It had a lot of this creamy stuff. That bit's not so much for me but look what's under here. Oreos. Surely William is going to spot some of these and come back with some Oreos. Mm. Lemon to truth, try us the cheesecake, Will. Try us the cheesecake, gosh, I'm tired. Our fifth contestant, the cheesecake, woo! How much out of 10? And what flavour is said cheesecake? Cheesecake? Cheesecake, I don't flavor. know. Um, Our cheesecake's normally like a raspberry or a lemon or something. It's not just cheese. Lemon, I think. Lemon. How much out of 10? And it is a... Eight. Oh, an eight out of ten cheesecake. Okay. Okay. You thought I was going to say seven. By the way, how come you didn't uh, get the thing with the Oreos on it? You love Oreos. Drum roll, please. Uh, uh, wait, what do you think is this? This is a peanut butter and jelly tart. It's a pe oh. peanut butter and jam. Maybe. Yes, a jam. How much out of ten? Uh, the whole peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, they love it in the States, but it's not so much a thing that we go for back home, is it? Okay. Mm. Alright, sugar cookies. Just to say, uh, six is not a low score, because I am six, so it will offend me for six. <laughs> okay, well nobody offends Zara by saying six is a low number, okay? Six is a moderate number. Yes. Um, I would say this is a six. 
Oh, okay. Actually, no. Seven. Seven. So you would need to be seven. It's gotta be, cake is it's gotta be higher now, than Now, will the cookie okay. win or will the cheesecake win? That's the, the question. The cookie will win. Okay, this is the biggest drum roll. Uh, ten. Ten. Ten, ten, ten. Ten for me, ten for me. Ten what does the cookie me. get from you? Oh, you haven't tried it. Try it. Try no, the cookie. I have. I have oh. two. Oh, you had two. Okay. Ten. What's the number? Ten. Seven point five. Oh, so the cookie's the winner. The cookie's no, the, the winner. The cheesecake's the winner. Oh, the it's cheesecake's just the winner. Just getting because it's hard. Disney Day, but you've always got to be prepared, and this is something I'm trying to teach my children as a bit of a life lesson, that sometimes life happens and you have to make changes. So, the weather has gone like really cold for Florida tonight. It's about seven degrees outside. Now, if we're gonna watch Fantasmic tonight, it's been advised we get there at quarter to nine, the show doesn't start till half past nine, and we're finished till 10. The kids were freezing before we even came in here. And I've got to say, we are all so tired. So as much as I re like, I really want to watch Fantasmic tonight, I'm also, hey Pluto, hang on, we'll finish this in a second. Oh, we're very lucky. We're very lucky. We're best dog ever. Yeah, best dog. Best dog. Thanks, Pluto. We love you. Where was I? So as much as I just, like, I really want to see Fantasmic, I don't think keeping the children out in the freezing cold is a good idea especially little one who gets like her body temperature plummets very very fast they all do really they all really feel the cold and i've got to admit i am so tired um you've probably noticed actually <laughs> if you've been watching this video starting to just jumble up my words a bit i'm so tired so we i haven't had a lot of sleep the last few nights i guess it's just adjusting to the time and then getting up and trying to like do some work for the kids like wake up and getting in late and then they're asleep and i'm trying to tidy up as well so I think what we're going to do, and it feels really disappointing, but I think we're going to leave Fantastic for our next time. This is why we always try and prioritise the things we really want to do for the first day in whatever it is park. So Fantastic was a priority for this park. So we planned it for tonight, and that way, if something happened like the weather, we still got another diet as an option. Whereas if we were like, now nah, we just won't bother on that night, we'll to the last night, and then weather happened or whatever, then we wouldn't see it at all. So that's what I would recommend. If you are planning with your children, like get them involved with planning, but I think it's, it is quite a good life lesson that, to teach them about, you know, sometimes life happens and, and to make provisions and backup plans. But I definitely, definitely recommend prioritizing the things you really desperado, stinkocado, as <laughs> the children say, to do in, on the first day in whatever park it is. So I think the new plan is to bundle up super warm with whatever layers we've got. I think we've got spirit jerseys, and there's the main mouse again. We've got spirit jerseys and denim jackets and water so I'm gonna put all those on. We're gonna just nip down the shops, I think. Zara really wants to pick up an Asher doll. William wants to look for a couple of t-shirts. Bye, Mickey! Oh! We've got so many character interactions here, it's fine. Oh! Oh! <laughs> yes, Mickey. Mickey's liking Daddy of Four's magic band. Oh. Oh, it's just so stinky adorable, isn't it? Absolutely adorable. So, bye, Mickey. Bye, see you real soon. We've seen the character so many times. So, but yeah, we're gonna. William wants to look for a couple of t-shirts. I think the thing Bella wants to buy out of her money is figment in Epcot, um, which we are going to Epcot tomorrow. So I think you're gonna pick up the figment things. Can we just take a vote? Who votes for staying to watch Fantasmic tonight? And who votes for back to the resort? Okay, back uh, Hang on, vote for Back to the Resort. Right. I can't believe I'm voting. I can't believe you're voting for it too, but well done for listening to your I body. Can believe if I'm you have okay. acknowledged you're quite tired. No, I'm not, I'm not tired. I, just, I don't want to be cold. I am. I'm quite tired. In fact, I'm so tired. In, right. In the words of Kermit, I can't believe I'm voting for keeping that. Oh. <laughs> oh, Kermit. Okay, um, let's get to do toilets again for a change um, and bundle up warm and then explore the shops on the way back 
out of Hollywood Studios before I head back to the resort. Do you know what? This really is not how I saw tonight going. But I'm so relieved that we're going back and I'm going to be able to go to bed soon. I am feeling dizzy tired now. Yeah, I'm tired. Oh, and she's asleep. <laughs> okay, guys, I think it's just about time for our dining reservation. So let's go princess dining in Norway. I think it's called Akashus. Is that how you say it, Bella? Yeah. Am yeah. I saying it right? Every time I say it, I'm just like, this doesn't sound right. Um, it's here in the Norway Pavilion. So we've been quite organized, actually. Three activities in one pavilion. One after the other. We've got a lovely person sure? over here who's going to help me because I can't yeah. pronounce it properly. How do you pronounce the name of this restaurant, please? Akishus. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bella, who is it? No. In her? Goofy dress. Goofy dress. That's what you were hoping for, isn't it? You were hoping for her. I'm quite happy too because I want her autograph. You do? Well, you've never, you've met Bella a few times, but you've never had her autograph because of COVID. No way. Pansy? The girls are so excited. So princess dining wise, we've done princess dining in Paris. We did Cinderella's Royal Table, which we loved, didn't we? The food was lovely, the ambience was lovely because it's inside the castle. But again, it was early 2022, so it's just Cinderella appeared and waved in, in the corner. That's also a really difficult one to get a reservation for, and obviously we've managed to get this. If you want to see exactly how to book dining reservations, I did a full in detail vlog explaining everything you need to do and how to get the best reservations, the whole process explained. So you can check out that video. I will link it below if you want to see that afterwards. Sorry, Bob, what did you want to say? Oh. You've forgotten, haven't you? <laughs> oh, wait. Right. I think no one to know if there was any mocktails. I'm so you want to know sure. if there's any mocktails? Okay. So we've just had our server come over and explain it all to us. So she, the princesses are a surprise, and there's a fanfare and music, and you get to guess who's coming out. And obviously, Belle is the first one that we're going to experience. Belle is thrilled. It's family style dining. We've got the dining plan. So we've got. For over, everyone over 21, there's an alcoholic drink included, and we've ordered something very exciting looking. And then Will, because he's under 21, but he's on the adult dining plan because he's over the age of 10, gets a smoothie, and then everyone gets a soda type drink. The girls always go for the lemonade, the Minute Maid, which is like the flat lemon. You've gone for a lemonade because you get a soda as like well as an alcoholic drink. But just, just be aware that they don't have Fanta as of now. They don't have Fanta at the moment. <laughs> yeah, like, oh my goodness, the, the fanfare, and it's Aurora apparently. Whoa! Yeah, I'm getting all of them right. What? Were you right? Yeah, I'm getting all of them and right. And do you know what? She's got a pink dress like you. <laughs> And what's your favourite storybook to read? Mm, I like lots of books. Oh, I do too. Is your story easy? Uh, yeah. I don't think I could ever choose just one favourite. Thank you. Oh, yes, right here. These are very lovely too. Perhaps you'll put them in your library after. I do think that would be a perfect spot. <laughs> I do think you spend a lot of time in the library and the bookshop. That's me. Let me sign it over here. Love your dress. It's very floaty. It's very kind of Oh, beautiful. Made her day. Honestly, look at the smile on your face. Bella's face meeting Belle. Oh. So the first of the family style dining is come out. We're supposed to unroll one of these and spread on the cinnamon butter and then roll it back up. Will, you're going to give it a go. Here you go. Can I just eat it by itself? If you want to, darling, you don't need the cinnamon butter. What's it taste like? Yeah, I do like. Is it like a pancake type thing? Yeah. Yeah. What's it taste like? Like a crack. Right, okay. 
And then we've also got some salad. That's clever. You don't like it? That's fine. Welcome to trying it. The music. We think this means Tiana's the next princess. Oh my goodness, look at my drink. Actually, does he have anything else for you? But I was going to say, I thought you were just like, yes, but it's before you realised you were a princess. Yeah, that's when right. When you were stuck in the park. You're familiar with my story. I am, yeah. I'm on a tour then. And what was it like finding out you were a princess, not having known for 16 years? It was quite a surprise. I bet it was quite surprising, yes. yes. <laughs> wow. So, William, have you tried your smoothie? Give us, William ordered a strawberry smoothie. Give us the verdict, well, give us the verdict. It looks delicious. Is it salad? Is it good? Is it good? It's all close to with Cinderella. Well, if Cinderella comes out, of course you can. Of course. So I've got some salad, but I've also got this rather fancy looking blue drink, which is called the... Northern Lights. Good job. Hence the flashing cube. It's called the Northern Lights. They are $20 to purchase, but they are included as your alcoholic drink if you've got the dining plan. Moment of truth for the flashing blue drink. Mmm. Ooh, ooh, that's strong. It's delicious though, it's actually quite well balanced. It's um sort of citrusy orangey. Mmm. That's actually quite refreshing. Go on, dear, give it a go. Sip your fancy sparkly blue princess drink. And tell us what you think. Nice, huh? Actually quite pleasant, isn't it? It tastes quite it refreshing. Tastes, it's quite refreshing, but also I have a feeling that it just tastes like it's quite potent. It goes really well with lettuce. <laughs> oh, who's this song? Uh, Snow White! Tiana. Oh, Tiana's over there. Where's the Wally Whip? Snow White's the other princess. So, how many of those do you have now? This is my fourth? Well, that means it's good. It means you must be enjoying it. Yes, I am. And also, there's no other food other than a salad on the this table. This is the so start. I'm the starter course. Make salad, it's the starter course. Yeah, I've got to say, dear, you always joke about eating salad and never actually eat salad. You're actually eating salad. What's going on? Because you don't do salad. You don't do salad. What's I going on? I don't do much salad, but the secret is it's full of salad dressing, which is really nice. Yeah, it is actually. It is very like rich and tasty salad dressing. <laughs> Chicken, I don't know. Chicken bowl, I think. Stew. This is, it's it's stew. With dumplings in it. It's got mash in it. I'm trying that. We've got some meatballs, lingonberry, okay, corn dog, mac and cheese. Just try it if you don't like it. Salmon and green beans, and we've asked to keep the salad because it's delicious. Oh, try a corn dog. I don't think you've tried a corn dog before, have you? Uh, uh, uh. Is it hot? Careful. Oh, it's really hot. Nice? Uh, no. Oh, not sure. Know, I like the sausage. Is it like a sausage, sir? No, I like the sausage. Do you like it? I like the sausage. But not the bit round it. So it's like a sausage with a chicken nugget skin. What's that noise? It's in a bit. Cinderella. Is that Cinderella? Cinderella, is it? No way. What? That's no white, Daddy. That's no white. Well, you know what I mean? They all look the same. You know what? Grumpy will even play the pipe organ for us too. 
Can you believe that? Taking a sign right there. Uh, right here. She's going to yes, draw a picture of, of you. Um, Are you really? Oh, that's so very wonderful. <laughs> Something to do on the plane home. Yes, I think that's a lovely idea. My, how very exciting. Perhaps you'll have to teach Joby how to draw too. I think that their portraits would look lovely if they added some of that diamond dust that they find from the diamond line on there. I think it would look simply wonderful. You'll have to join us sometime, all right? The cottage. And we can all sing and dance together too. Well, I can't wait to tell the seven dwarfs about both of you, all right? It was lovely to see you. Bye! Bye. The, the food's actually really nice. It's not necessarily what I would have ordered off the menu, but as it's all here family style to try it, it's quite a nice way of eating. The salad is divine. I've just asked for another bowl of that because it's all you care to enjoy, so you can order more of anything you like. Zara, rather surprisingly, is enjoying like the stew or a soup. You're actually, you're really enjoying that. She's not that fussed on the rest of it. William always enjoys like stews and soups. Not something I normally go for. Oh, Ariel's twirling. Twirling. And Bella. Welcome. Welcome. Hang on, we'll carry on a second. Our friends who have come from far and near. Whoever has held a storybook dear. We thank you for joining in all of our splendor. And hope that this fairy tale is one you'll remember. So ready your cameras and Sorry, there was a princess promenade. Anyway, we've um, I'm loving the salad. We'll ask for some more of that. The meatballs are actually very nice. The mash is really creamy. Everyone's really enjoying it. Probably a little bit creamy for me. But Daddy Four's enjoying it so much. She's just ordered a massive lump of mash on its own. Zara, you're you're not fussed on most of it, but you're enjoying the stew, aren't you? Bella? Maybe you should have... No, Daddy Four's literally just ordered I a big lump of mash. mash. Bella, what are you enjoying? Do you salmon? The mash, mostly the mash. William's enjoying mac and cheese. Thoughts on the rest of it? Um, the stew and the dumplings and the meatballs and the corn dogs as well. They're good. Good. Yes. I'm also quite enjoying this um, red like cabbagey stuff. Yummy. Okay. Oh, thank you. Are we singing? Day to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bella, Zara, <laughs> William. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Probably, I'm just going to say now, because you should say your wish out loud. By the way, we like birthday cupcakes because they aren't any birthdays. Bella's was literally just before we left. William's and Zara's are literally as soon as we get home. What's your birthday wish, Bell? Um, to go on another visit. That, well, that's a good question. You should say your wishes out loud. I wish you? for that twice, so then so it has know. a higher chance to happen. Oh, good, good one. Go on, you then. Can't, can't really go on, Zara. Oh, you push mine. Go on, then. What's your wish? Like the black blue. I wish um, to have a great trip. Oh, good. Go on, then. William, what did you wish? Disney trip. No, the Disney trip. Treasure. This one. Oh, the California. treasure. California. California. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. All good wishes. They made for us pink for me, Zara, Lila, and green for So, you're going to eat it with a spoon or do the cupcake hack? Cupcake hack. I'm not sure. Do you want me to do the cupcake hack for you? No, I think I'm actually okay. Oh, is it? That's, it's good, but you won't like, I won't like it because it's me. I'm going to have to try it. Okay. What's this in? Rice cream. Rice cream, rice cream, apparently. Rice cream. Do you like rice pudding? Yeah. The whole rice pudding? Oh, okay. I mean, I'm not sure. I don't do rice pudding anyway. I'm going to try this one, though. Go on, then, Belle. So, for the snack hack... Sorry, I need to do a to make carefully. To do a cupcake and not get it all over your face. I'm just going to get it all over my face. You rip off the bottom of the cupcake. Zara's just going to get it all over her face, she's decided. You make a cupcake sandwich, and then you go for it. Go on, Belle. Ah. <laughs> the other hack is to eat with a spoon. Good hack. Good hack. Not copyright. Uh, there we go. So you're, you're doing the cupcake hack. Okay. All right, I'm giving them the... the did she, what did she say? It was a blackberry mousse and chocolate mousse. Anything too fluffy and, like, moussey, any too, like, I'm not into. But if it's, like, cakey mousse, 
Mm. I like that. No! I like that. You didn't want me to like it because you want more, you little piggy. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was going to do. You know your brother too well. Well, yeah, he's a porn artist. He's either the thing is, it's all you well, care to enjoy. We need to get another one. He's either the thing. <laughs> he's probably the Nothing will be left. What's the verdict on the, the, like, the rice pudding you want? You've just shoved so much cooking in your face you can't speak. So you're going to have to gesture. How many out of ten for the rice pudding anyway? Thank you. Oh, eight. Eight for the rice pudding anyway. Okay, how about the chocolate one? Because there's so much food in your face, you're going to be a while. Really? You prefer the rice pudding anyway to the chocolate one? Gosh. Did not see that coming. You're going to be so... No, oh, wiping your face and your spirit, Josie. No. <laughs> There we go, now <laughs> Oh, William. I'm free! How many times a day do I have to say, oh, William? More than you can imagine. <laughs> Comparing this restaurant to the Princess Dining in Paris, but I would say that this the children ate a lot more here than they did in the Paris one. They got to order their own meals. The desserts were very pretty in Paris, weren't they? they the children had like a chocolate shoe. So the de desserts were more princessy. But this all you care to enjoy is a really nice way to try different things you've never normally, like I don't think I would have ordered any of the food today just if it was off a menu item but i enjoyed most of it i've got to say and the thing i really like about the character dining we've experienced in florida compared to the way they run it in paris is they come around a different cast member comes around and checks who have you met have you met all the characters and just checks in that every guest has met every character and i feel that that takes the pressure off as a parent trying to make sure that you know when you have you taken your children to the toilet or whatever you don't want to miss any characters and it feels like you get that really good experience the characters also seem to take quite specific routes from the restaurant. It just seems to be run in a very slick way. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. Any other thoughts on the different, you know? Which one did you prefer? Because I know you were actually, all the five of us, didn't complain about the food being too fussy in the Paris Princess Dining. Yeah. But, so which, but which food I did mean, you prefer? I mean, I just liked it being fancy and all that. It was, but which like, food? Like, this didn't feel as fancy but it was good I was I mean. I've got to be honest I wasn't sure if the children would eat any of the food on this menu I did look at the menu but much like the Paris one the, this reservation was more about the experience than the menu the fact that they've eaten it has been a massive bonus I like this one more because I met Belle of course baby Belle is your favourite I'm thrilled for you and your face when you met her was everything and this is a Tina she's been taking care of us she's done such a fantastic job so thank you so so much it's been a really really lovely experience thank you, thank you. Of course. <laughs> so we've wound up back in Connections Cafe we did eat here yesterday and I did not even turn to eat here again the food was fine um, not amazing just fine we were gonna go and eat in Mexico but to be honest it's close and it's indoors and those are the, the criteria I couldn't get um, a pre-booking the food, pre-ordering ordering online food uh, arrival window for another 20 minutes. So I'm just standing in this rather large queue, which is fine. And um, we're just gonna get some very basic food. I'm not even hungry. I just feel like we need to feed the children. I don't think the children are even hungry, but anyway, gonna get some bits. Um, and then go and see Luminous Symphony Fest, which I'm really looking forward to seeing. The children are tired, but desperate to see fireworks and then we're going to grab the rest of our stuff from the locker and get out of here. I'm not sure I made the right choice in meal. I wanted salad because I fancy salad. And you got salad. I know but I've got salad like this this chicken is kind of um I don't know, it's like quite fried, <laughs> not salad if you know what I mean. The biggest thing that like, really surprised me is these, which are a bit like slightly softer versions of square crisps from the UK. So it's like crisps and KFC-ish, sort of, I don't know, I think the chicken tender is nicer than this, and the salad is, I don't know, I'm not sure if I'm going to eat much of this, it's just not, just not quite what I thought it would be. Zara is offering me a chicken tender. I'm okay, thank you, darling. I actually think I'm not hungry. I'm gonna eat one or two of World's fries. 
literally two. I think I'm pretty much done. So I don't think anyone's especially hungry. I just feel, felt obliged as your mother to give you another meal. Although you're actually making a pretty good dent to the burger. How is the burger? Sadly, Spaceship Earth is down, so we will not be riding that. And actually, I think we're going to have to go head straight to the World Showcase to watch the fireworks as soon as we finish this, because it is, in the sort of words of Rafiki, nearly time. It's nearly time. How are you chicken tenders, girls? Good. good. And how are you feeling? Like, are you tired UK? I'm tired and cold. Tired and cold. We put loads more layers on you. What about you, Bells? Are you okay? Yeah. You're like that, okay. Bells, do you want to stay for the fireworks? Okay, well, well we're, here now, so. we're here now. I agree, I agree. I just was checking also, with you. Also, we're going to miss them. I know. Awesome I don't want to miss it either, but I just want to check with you. just used a quick service meal credit each which comes with a drink each and two snack credits just to get one of each of the snacks they, like, they look a bit moosey so I'm not really into moosey stuff but we had to get them because they're the most beautiful thing they really are stunning aren't they I know so we've got the snacks ready we're just waiting for our main meals my husband and the girls have just gone to sit down we did a mobile order it was really quick and simple the cast members here have been really helpful can't wait to try this very exotic looking food yeah. Some of my food is going to be blue. Are you jealous that my food is blue? I will let you try my blue food. How's your food, Will? Good. Yeah? You can try this one. A Pandora something? Pandora juice? Mm. It's very sweet. Very it's sweet. Really nice. <laughs> I need to try it. Okay, let's um I'm gonna try Will's Pandora. Oh it's very refreshing. It's kind of is it citrus limey. Limey. And a bit of pineapple too. Mm. And a whole chunk of pineapple. Now I've got this which looks insanely good it's like all colors oh gosh the noodles are literally navy blue how's your quesadilla bells all good so have you tried the quesadilla yet no give it a go no you can just pick it up with your fingers it's quite hot and stuck to the other okay one. we'll we'll cut it up for you yeah. do you love colorful salad Mm. Really good, like. mm. Sweetness to this. What bowl. is it? It's like a boba pearl, I think. Ah. Like Yummy. And this, I've got to say, this very colourful salad is delicious. Lots of flavours that work very well together. It looks and tastes very otherworldly. I like it. Well, can I try some of your rice? And do you want to try some of my blue noodles? Mmm. <laughs> That's really good. It's got a kick to it. Very flowery. What do you think? Mmm, amazing. Well, they are amazing, aren't they? Yeah. It's, it's, it's just what? It's like exploding with flavour. Yours is quite spicy. Yeah. I wasn't expecting yours well, to have a kick. The beans. Not beans. Mm. Very good though. This is a, now you've had a bit of quesadilla. How are you finding it? Yeah. Mhm. Mm Yummy. Are you looking forward to trying the purple dessert? Yeah. Mm. Because it's Lila. Sarah just loves anything purple. These are interesting. They're like. I'm not. I just don't know what that is. Very good. It's like a. It's not quite a crisp. I guess this is just a native fruit or vegetable to Pandora. How are your crisps, or the, they call chips here? It's like spicy, but. These were listed as vegetable chips, and Bella was like, oh, what's that? It's like, it's crisps, baby. These are like spicy, but probably mm. sort of Very nice. Food-wise, I'm really impressed with mine. It's really nice. The boba pills especially are gorgeous. But William's rice, which has got a real kick to it, it doesn't look as pretty as my purple and bright food, 
but that rice is gorgeous. Bella's enjoying the quesadilla. Zara, not so much. She has eaten some of it, but she's not fast. Daddy of four, who normally doesn't like food that's messed with. Thoughts on it? Other than you got food in your mouth. He has a face full of food. We'll come back to him. I wasn't sure he'd like it, to be honest. So if he likes it, we're quite impressed. Um, this food, the main thing is it's just, they've done a beautiful job of making it feel very otherworldly. It fits. The flavors are delicious, but all of the food looks like it could be from another planet. Your food? Totally messed up. All right, though. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> he's a little bit of a fussy eater on the fire, um, but, well, he's eaten it. That's more than I thought he'd manage, anyway. Well, he didn't want them. It is now time to sample these delicious looking desserts. Who's going first with the purple one? Now, try and use descriptive words now, well. We want to know what it's all about. I'm detecting some kind of crunchy something. Detecting some At crunchy. the bottom, please, it looks please, like. Please. I'm going to use the best. Me. Okay, okay well, everyone can. And it is moussey. It's chocolate and moussey. Okay. Right, girls, go for it. That's about it. Oh, that's hard. No, okay. No, 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 no. Uh, the aeroplane's coming in from the south. I'd say. Oh, it's got, it's got like a crunchy outside. I think this one's crunchy. Mm. Like the outside's oh. crunchy. Oh, so it's like a shell. Jam, jam. So it's like a shell. It's quite rich. It's quite moussey. Okay. Well, I like it. Oh, yeah. um, I don't know. But... You try it. It's got a bit of a base. Cool, okay, mummy's turn, yeah. mummy's turn. I think I might like this actually. I was not expecting it to have like, there we go. So it's like chocolate on the inside. I thought it was like all purple mousse. Mm. Oh, I like that very much. It is easier just to make it chocolate. Can I please have the leaf? Wow. Can I please have mm. the leaf? So it is moussey, but it's not so light that I find it sickly. It is very rich. Oh, and it's also got like we've got to like a lump. Yeah, we've got to like a lump, like a a different flavored lumpy bit. Was it a fruit? I mean, let me eat the leaf. So I didn't think I'd like this purple thing at all. I literally bought it for everyone to try because it looks so pretty. But I'm loving this. Do do Bell, go for the blue thing. Try the blue thing, go on. <coughs> no, is it blue all the way through? No, it's a blue shell. It's not so not blue all the way through. Go for it. I've had it. We've had it, and? I, I don't know how to describe it. It's like gooey. What flavor? Do you know what flavor it is? It's not chocolate. No. Okay. The outside's like a strawberry kind of flavor. Is it? It's like sweet. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah go for it's it. It's a weird flavor. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm gonna I have a bit more of this. Yeah. Go for it, Zaz, go for it. Like, that's the flavour I can't tell. Like, I, I, don't, I have no clue what Is it the grey is. stuff, Zaz? This no. here no. is white chocolate. That's that green room. is white. Meringue. Meringue. Oh, meringue. I like meringue. It tastes strawberry. I like meringue. Yeah, I like meringue. You should try it, Mummy. It tastes strawberry. Mm. No. I can't confirm that was meringue. It's lovely. Right. Flavor, I'm not sure I like this. It looks a bit cheesecakey. Mm. Oh yeah, it's also like a chocolate. That's a bit too gooey for me. I don't know what it is. What's the flavor? It's, it is like a cheesecake. It's weird. It's like I don't like cheesecake. It's like very, it's very springy. Look. But it looks nice. This one's the best one for me. Oh, for more of this hard stuff. Wow. I like the cheesecake like one. Oh, this yellow bit's like proper like cheesecake. Mm. So if any, do we recommend any of these? I'm personally recommending the purple one. Blue. You like the blue? No, we do like it though. Okay. So, which one do you like? I like them both. It depends on which you like. The blue one's, is a, I think it is a cheesecake and I think it's custard, this yellow bit on top. I think it's okay. a custard, you know? <laughs> This one. It depends if you like rich, moussey stuff or if you like cheesecake. Yeah, so Danny Ford doesn't normally like chocolatey, rich, gooey things, so I'm surprised you like this one at all. This, um, sugar. I've got to say though, he has got a point. Most of the food in Disney, the desserts and things, 
they all feel like sharers and to be honest all the meals we've left a lot of our food of our main meals we just can't finish it we can never finish the portions can we nope i would uh... portions are huge we, you could eat like we've only got a meal each, so we've got the dining plan we've got credits to use up but normally we'd share in paris we will share I actually put dessert with dessert, something like a Mars bar. Mars, if you want to send me some, carry on. Daddy Four, WK, Mars bar. Send away. Someone have a word with them. Tokens to use up. Um, we ordered one each of the Dole Whips to try all different flavours and then they made a mistake. So we've ended up with six Dole Whip products between five of us and we're going to sample them all. It's very exciting. So this is the Little Mermaid Dole Whip float. It's got a dingle hopper on it. What's it like, Belle? That is so good. It's like fizzy. It's, so that's fizzy. What flavour is that? It's like strawberry, it's cherry and lime. Oh, cherry and lime. So then this one's. Sour. Yeah, so we've got cherry. We've got lime, lemon. that is cherry and lime, gorgeous. We've got lemon, the Rapunzel cone is lemon and, is it lemon and vanilla? Uh -huh. And then we've got a cherry lime over here as well. We're well, going to have to decide which is the best flavour. Daddy mixed it, Daddy mixed no, it. Oh, is Daddy ruining Joel Whip? No! Oh no. So the Rapunzel cone, is this lemon and... Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. It's, it's dripping down my fingers, but it's amazing. Mm. If you've got a dining plan, you can use snack tokens for these, but you can't use them for the sampler so we might as well or for just alcohol. Get the main one. So we were originally just going to get a sampler, but since you couldn't use those, we've ended up with the bigger ones because otherwise we're not going to use our yeah. snack tokens up. Mm. This is dropping down my fingers, but it's so worth it. Um, I know which one's the best, the aerial one, because it's the cherry and stuff, and it really likes that together. Um, mm. It's aerial themed. And, that is nice. Um, it has fizzy drink. It is so, so pretty. Good. And it has some. Yeah, the fizzy I'm not drink sure really that. adds to the flavour. Mm. It's really good. I'm never normally a fan of cherry, so I'm not sure about that. I'm preferring Rapunzel at the moment. I'm loving the look of the Rapunzel with a purple cone. Any day a cherry lime doll look. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna go cherry lime again. I'm gonna I'm gonna give the cherry lime a second hey, go. I like yes. Rapunzel. The cherry's spoiling it for me. Can I pick I know, Rapunzel? sorry. It is. Pass me the cherry on its own. We're going to try the cherry on its own. I think people in the UK, I don't know if they have this product in um, America, but people in the UK, Dioralite, cherry flavoured Dioralite. I had gastroenteritis as a kid, had cherry Dioralite for a week. Put me off cherry for life. So, cherry's not for me. The lime, however, mm, uh, the lime is good. And is this one lemon? Do we order a lemon? Uh, can you order uh -huh. this one? Mm. Can you please have lemon? I like lemon and lime. I like lemon. And I think I like the um, Rapunzel one because it's got lemon in it. Lemon and lime win my vote. Although I did really enjoy this. Was it strawberry we had in Magic Kingdom? Uh, the raspberry one's better than the strawberry. Yeah, it was so the strawberry. raspberry one you can get in Aloha Isle. The strawberry one we had from Sunshine Chi Terrace. That was lovely. Yeah, I prefer the cherry over cherry all the way. I, I oh, just love cherry. No, oh, no. No. And I'm not normally into um, wafer, but we've got to try the sugar cone. Mm. That's actually quite nice. Mm. Very tasty, actually. Now, there's some debate amongst the children as to which is the best flavour of Dole Whip ever. In the Lower Isle last time, we had raspberry and pineapple. Bella thinks the raspberry is the best one. Yeah. Um, a few days ago at Magic Kingdom we had orange, which tasted a lot like a Calippo, and a strawberry. I really like the strawberry one. Of these flavours, either lemon, lime or Rapunzel are my favourite. Not fast on the cherry. We're in the cherry. Cherry and lime is the best combo. Cherry is the best. Keep getting brain freeze. Still it's keep better reading. than raspberry. Okay, so you think cherry and lime might be the best. So our favourite flavour of it? Lemon and... Rapunzel. Yeah, actually, I think the lemon might be better than lime. Mm. Yeah, but the lime combos quite nicely with pretty much any flavour. Yeah. Like, you could probably combo it with, with, like, strawberry or something. Mm. Which is better for you? Um, Best I one? Like the 
to like the Little Mermaid, the aerial float. And then of course on the cruise we had Dole Whip floats. And in fact on the Dream we had Dole Whip floats and my auntie put double rum on them. And it was very piratey strong, honestly. Quite Might cool. be worth trying one with it, like as it comes rum. The extra shot of rum just blew socks off. It's time to head to Polynesia. So we've arrived here at the Polynesia and it's absolutely so our stunning. Our table has just been called for a harness. So exciting! A harness for dinner is all you care to enjoy. They're going to bring everything to the table. We're going to have it family style. As we've got a dining plan, the soda drinks are included for everybody. The ones that you pay for as an adult get either a non-alcoholic cocktail, so that's William, because he is over 10. William's ordered a stitch smoothie, because that's included with his adult meal, because he's under 21, so he can't have alcohol. And Daddy Four and I have gone for signature cocktails. I have gone for a pina colada. And what have you ordered, dear? I think it's the mule or something. He's ordered a... The uh, Hawaiian mule. He's ordered a Hawaiian mule, apparently. Right. Whatever. Try it. Well... Sample your stitch smoothie and tell us how that is. Coconut, pineapple. Coconut, pineapple. Is it good? Yeah. Is it good? Pina colada. Mm. Ooh. Potent, fruity, frozen, delicious. Mm. I didn't think I'd like these, but they're absolutely delicious. The chicken is on the bone. Which I normally shy away from stuff on the bone just because it's fiddly, I suppose. But it is stunning and it's a really delicious um, flavour, texture, all of it on the coating. The noodles are gorgeous. Zara is not loving most of the food, but is really tucking into enjoying the noodles, aren't you? Um, the veg is lovely. My cocktail is lovely. We have a nice view over the lake. Technically, we should be able to see the fireworks from here. But I am tempted to go outside. Apparently they do pipe the music through the restaurant. So do we want to watch Happy Ever After here with a kind of obstructed view? I don't think we can actually see the castle. Would we have a better view from the beach downstairs, maybe? Can't tell you about what to do. Either way, I'm really, really glad we got this reservation. And to be honest, Zara, I'm just really proud that you've tried things. Really proud. And you're eating something. Yeah. And our server's just been here. This was just part one. We've got a whole skillet of shrimp and chicken and steak and all sorts coming. So let me get this right, we've got chimichurri chicken bone in, peel and eat shrimp, and something steak. Our main course was lovely, I'm absolutely stuffed now, we're about to have dessert. The children actually ate really well, Zara didn't eat loads. They are a bit cold now though, so the girls have got spirit jersey on, it's just the aircon blasting. So we've got dessert coming, oh! Your cocktail, you tried it now, what do you think of it? Yeah, it's quite nice. Oh. I, mean, I don't know what it tastes, what it smells like, tastes like, whatever, but it's alright. Okay, we don't know what it smells like or tastes like, we know it's alright. Um, I'm loving the fact they've got someone playing live music. It's just, it's very, very lovely here. I think we're going to have to go outside to watch the fireworks. They are going to pipe the music through in here. Apparently it's much more of the most experience to go and watch it on the beach. The children are playing a Disney Parks play game. It's like something shows up on their head that they hold on the phone and then they've got to act it out. It's like a game that's designed by Disney for people, for kids to play in the attraction queues. My kids are playing it now and they have been quite a lot during this trip. They love it. Um, so for dessert, we've got bread pudding with ice cream and caramel, a lot of ice cream, and then some Rice crispy treats with Mickey sprinkles. I'm so full, I'm not sure I can eat much at all, but I am going to finish my cocktail. How's that? 
Is it good? This ice cream is delicious. You enjoying it well? theming is amazing. One thing I do love about the Toy Story area in Florida is, that I'd say it's just so much better than Paris anyway. The children much prefer the attractions. But I love how all the cast members say, hey toys, hey toys, as they, we were greeted, it's like, hey toys, we were greeted, it's like, hey toys, is this your first rodeo? It's fine. Um, while you were in the toilet, they went like, um, Andy's coming, everyone, because you were just So everyone had to freeze. Oh, uh, yeah. And then everyone had to yeah. freeze. Sandy was on the speaker. Oh, cool. Well, hopefully they'll do that again so we can see it. So anyway, so it, it's all you care to enjoy. We have ordered a drink each because we're on the dining plan. We've got a non-alcoholic drink each and then the adults have got another beverage included. William is counted as an adult because he's over 10, so he's got a non-alcoholic beverage as well. I have also ordered a glass of Prosecco. William has got a very interesting looking mocktail with jelly worms in it. That looks kind of cool. And now we've got some food that's been brought to the table, some kind of starter, salad, and kind of bread rolly scony things, which look very interesting. Oh, oh, I think they're doing the Andy's coming thing. And the most spectacular daredevil Canada has ever seen. It's Duke Gumbo! Woo! I don't know, folks. Huh. That's a I'm lot right. of cattle to clear. Think you can make the jump? Oh, it's the dude from Toy Story 4. necessarily order but it's really nice that we've had little bits of it to try and that's what I do like about the family style dining it forces everyone to try something perhaps they wouldn't try and just have little bits of this flavor that's that flavor but I've got to say the tots these potato barrels are insanely good mm. <laughs> so the kids are playing that Disney Parks app while we're waiting for dessert Daddy Four is finishing up some food. We've had some extra potato barrels because they're so good. I'm just having a look at my planner for what the kids wanted to do today and figure out where we're going and um, what needs to be done. So I need to add to this list actually. Bella really wants to do Beauty and the Beast, so it looks like we can do that at four. We've done Tower of Tower, we're in Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. We've done Aliens. Oh, something else is happening. We've got Slinky booked, we've got Toy Story Mania booked. Will wants to do Resistance, Andy wants to do Mickey and Minnie. And then of course, Phantasmic at the end of the night. Can we get it all done? The cast members are here, it's so fun. They really get into all the, the theming. There's often these, these different things that come on and toys different come out and everyone stops to watch. So overall, I think we're enjoying this. Would you recommend this restaurant? Same thing. He's a must for a Toy Story fan, absolute must. I'm just going to try the peach and strawberry. I'm just going to 
Should I get half of this whipped cream, Maya? Delicious? Yeah. Zara didn't like the actual forky biscuits with the gingerbread. Then I did like the arm. Okay, you eat the cupcake then. The arms are still here though. Of course. Okay, eat your cupcake. Okay, I don't know how you open it. Wow, I think you've got to peel it down. I don't know how you do that. Go on, the little gums are going to be wet. Too soon, too soon. Do you like it? Does it taste of your drink? Uh, uh, uh. It's also wet, so it's like... Oh, oh my God. Good? Mm-hmm. don't really like the ice cream. It's a bit bittery. But I like this. Okay, will you eat it up then? You guys on the camera. Bella, you have got a forky cupcake to eat too. Thank you. And I'm gonna go for this chocolate one here. Oh, give it here. Give it here and give me the spoon. It's a little bit sickly because it's quite it's quite moussey. It's probably more moussey I'd normally go for. So just a spoonful or two and then I'm done. We thoroughly enjoyed Roundup Rodeo. Most of all Disney World locations, when you do your mobile order pickup, it'll say, your order is ready, go to window, whatever. The only problem with the Woody's lunchbox is the mobile order pickup is kind of in this funny corner with just one window. So it feels a little bit bottleneck. It's sort of not as planned out, it's not as well as the other location. I think they didn't intend for it to be popular. They right. intended for a few people to go there. Well, it's popular, we like it. So this is just not ideal. Though. So we picked up our Toy Story snacks. We're now heading to Backlog Express to meet my husband and the girls, so that we can pick up the rest of our food, sit down and chill out for a bit before Phantasmo. Okay, we've overestimated our appetites. Um, so the, we've managed to eat all the, between us, the um, potato tot things, the potato barrels. I have ordered two adult portions, still not one meal each, two adult portions of chicken tenders and chips, two kids portions of chicken tenders and chips, and I, I forgot how big these things are. I got two Wookiee cookies, and we've also got the Toy Story things. Look at them, they're flipping massive. Absolutely massive, but yummy, so. Let's dig in, fill up, before we go and watch Fantastic. We're gonna get to sample these treats and desserts. I don't think we're gonna finish them. Let's start with the Wookiee cookie. I do not remember it being this big, people. Yeah. Can we just can we just cut back to Rhee in 2022 to show you the size of it then? Zara, Has it grown? I just Rhee and tell Zara, you don't underestimate its size from the camera view. It's it like, is huge, it's like two cookies. This is my face. All squidge. Oh my goodness, it's squidged. I'm trying to trying to break it, it's all squidged out. Ready? Uh, okay, you Wow. You broke it. Okay. We have to break it up into small pieces and then people can take a piece. Yeah, small pieces like that, yeah. Chunks. Oh no, that's way it's too the big. It's like exploding. Uh, uh, but is it good? That's the question. Is it good? Can I try some chocolate? Cookie, wookie, wookie, wookie. Go for it, cookies the wookie. Do we approve? We approve. Um. <laughs> Would you recommend? Mm -hmm. Alright, are you going to try some wookie cookie? My turn, firstly. Okay, maybe don't use that one. Don't use that one. Use okay. this one. Firstly, put a napkin 
Put on your mat, nap, because it should to be nappy. Mm. Probably. And then you take a napkin to put your walkie cookie on, and then you eat it. Go on then, oh, sample wow. the walkie cookie. Okay, this part is very weird. Go on. Take the top off and eat that bit. No thanks. How do you pick this thing up? With your that fingers. With your fingers. Come on. A spoon? Uh, you don't normally get it. It'll end up in the floor now. It's too messy. Bite. You don't normally get it. Nice? Nice, but way too creamy. Way too creamy. So hang on, I haven't got room to try your working cookie. Seriously? As Zara says. Seriously? 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 Gosh. Seriously? Just in the interest of science, because I've got to be honest, I'm, I'm too full to actually eat this stuff, but we're going to just try this from Woody's Lunchbox. It looks yummy and delicious. I think this is very similar to the one that we had, again, back in 2022, and also to the thing we had in Figment Inspiration Station over in Epcot for the Festival of the Arts. Mmm. I actually think I prefer that to the Wookiee Cookie, it's really yummy. Mm. You have to do the same thing like you did with the Wookiee Cookie. To make sure, oh thank you very much, it's not messy. Do you want to try the pink thingy? I'll try that ice thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Out of ten. Out of ten. Um, the Wookiee Cookie, because I didn't say, was... Oh. What was the work you cooking? Wait. Uh, the tent is killing us. <laughs> what was the work you cooking at the um, I'll come back to that. Oh, good grief. Okay, what about this pink thing? Come on, Balance, we'll try wait. your pink thing. Um, wait, nine. wait, and you'll find The work you cooking was a nine. Nine! Nine out of ten. Yeah. Nine out of ten. Nine. But you didn't even like it that much. What? You said you didn't like it that much. Uh, uh, Excuse me, I did not say that. She said it was too creamy. So it's too creamy. So how's it getting 9 out of 10 if it's too creamy? Oh, I said the Wookiee cookie was that. Yeah. This pink thing is that. Oh, the pink thing is 9 out of 10. Oh, okay. What about the Wookiee cookie? I must judge Excuse me. Oh, we're coming back to you. Go on then. So coming back to me with the Wookiee cookie. Oh, I think that's better. Is that better or is the Wookiee cookie better? I don't know. Also, um, oh, I'm by the way, over here, um, uh, what is this pink thing called? Well, we need to know. Um, I'll people. put the answer on screen because I can't remember yeah, right well, now. Well, what is it? Will the raspberry on top. There you go, Bells, put that in your mouth. Do you like that? Or are you not sure? Not sure? I'd say, say, seven. Seven out of ten. What about the Wookiee cookie? Um, I think I like the Wookiee cookie. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> On the chairs over. You okay, Bella? This is not a nine anymore. Just have a second bite, not tonight. What seven. is it then? A seven? Seven like Bella. Okay. And the Wookiee cookie is... Is what? A five. Okay, Hi. thank you for that. Okay, now to try Hiya. this marshmallowy thingy. Me best. Excuse me. Which looks like this inside. Oh, I think I'll like that a lot more. Can I have this? Oh, that piece. You want one with the marshmallow? Yes. Okay, you have the one with the marshmallow, marshmallow. on it. Come on then, Zaz. <laughs> okay, I'm telling you. Everyone's going to drop. It's going to drop. I think this will be better because I didn't really on, like the jam in the pink one. Which one's better, the pink one or this chocolate marshmallowy one? This one. Pink one. The pink one's better, this one's better. Zara? They're not tried yet. They're not tried yet. And the uh, both one's better. Oh, okay. The pink one I thought was very nice. This one has got more like chocolate. That's sort of Nutella inside. Mm. one marshmallow. Oh, actually, this chocolate one's better. Oh, Daddy Quite likes rich. marshmallows, he might want that. Daddy the pink one's lovely, but this is a winner. Bye. 
the lovely bin picnic like you would only do in Disney. The hot dogs and top, absolutely delicious. I really highly recommend from Fryer's Nook. Really enjoyed those. Bella, you want to go and get a grey stuffed cupcake next on the way to Space yeah. Mountain, is that right? And maybe a LeFou's brew over in Gaston's Tavern. Then we're going to do Space Mountain and I think that then we're going to split up. The girls want to do Enchanted Tales with Belle and meet the stepsisters. Will wants to do Jungle Cruise. The girls aren't first on that. So we we'll send the boys on Jungle Cruise while we do that. We're going to have to divide and conquer to get through everybody's lists today. I just really want to make sure that we can get through as much of the magical bucket lists as we can possibly do before we leave for the cruise. So we're just passing the BR Guest restaurant where we ate in 2022, heading over to Gaston's Tavern and the toilets at the back of Fantasy Alas. Bella, how excited are you to go in Gaston's Tavern? Uh, pretty excited. I want to see what um, it's like. Yeah, come on then. Let's go check it out. with the dining plan as a snack. So it looks like a drink, but it's actually qualified as a snack. Yeah. And it smells amazing. I can smell that from here. It smells really fruity and tropical. Like alcohol. It's I not alcohol. alcohol. Just for the record, I'm not, we're in Gaston's Tavern, but that is not alcohol. It's a mocktail, even it's, though it's called the food brew. Yeah, it is a mocktail. Like a brew. Like a brew is like a, a brew or a potion. Alcohol! If it's not, no, 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 not alcohol. You could brew tea, like a drink. Mm. William, thoughts on the food's brew? Can I try the Grey Stuff Cupcake? Of course, oh, the Grey Stuff Cupcake looks delicious. Ooh, wow, that apple is like really... Is it amazing? It's got like a tang to it. It's got like a tang to it. I don't want to try it again, I just... Would you like... Ew, I need a napkin. <laughs> no, I just took it off, because okay. I don't want to ruin it. Good idea. Yeah. All the way down. Come on, Bella. Come on, Bella. That looks amazing. Why don't we snack hack that one? Um, there's some. some... I think we're gonna need to eat this with a with a fork. This is too messy even for a snack hack. Well, we have some. I luckily this is why I got some. <laughs> so the grey stuff. Wow. It's delicious. Don't believe me. Ask for the dishes. Yeah. Um... It's got the grey stuff. It's got chocolate. Perfect. Zara ate one of the roses. How's the rose, Zara? Oh, you don't want grey stuff, you just want no. chocolate. Go on then, try the chocolate cupcake and let us know. Here are some slices um, of no grey stuff. Good? Mm. Give us it. Let me try the bread. Mm. It's like icing. Mm. Well, then, how's the grey stuff? Out of ten, just give us it in fingers since you've got a mouthful. I'll say oh, seven. A seven. Ooh, the grey stuff cupcake's a seven. But, I mean, but I just tried the grey stuff on its own, but... No, how are we doing? The grey stuff... Is it delicious? Mm. Is it delicious? What does Belle think? Don't get um, any grey stuff on Belle. <laughs> I don't think she'd like that. Oh, she wants them. She yeah. ate it. She ate it. She like it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you glad you had a grey stuff cupcake, Belle? Yes, it's okay. delicious. Just... It is delicious. And how about you? Do you prefer the grey cat stuff cupcake or LaFou's brew? I will school them in a minute. Yeah, you'll say in a minute. Daddy, four? Yeah. How is it? Mm -hmm. Alright, we're getting a nod, okay? We're not getting anything more descriptive than a nod. Can anyone describe the flavours to me? Um, mm, chocolatey. Chocolatey. Grey yeah. stuffy. The grey stuff is <laughs> chocolate. Um, oh, the grey stuff is chocolate flavour. It's like chocolate. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. But it has, um, it's I like think mousse chocolate. It looks like buttercream. You can cut it off. Which I'm not normally a big fan of, but you know, since it is Beauty and the Beast. You've got to like it. Mm. It is nice. I couldn't eat much of it. Scores are in. The scores are in? Yeah. I like the chocolate part of the cupcake more than that. Because mm. I didn't try the braised stuff, I'm just saying. It's, it's perfectly nice. It's a very nice moist sponge. Um, it's not my favourite. It's not as, like, it doesn't taste as good as that purple thing I had in Animal Kingdom. That was insanely good. But it is pretty, and it's a grey stuffed cupcake, and we're in Gaston's Tavern, so it's totally worth it. You know what I like about Disney? Oh, so they, go, they can just grab any. They can just grab a noun from a line in the song and turn it into a dessert. They can. A line in the song. A line in the song. The grey stuff makes more sense than the ten years we've been rusting, needing so much more than dusting. So it's ten years they've been stuck in the castle. But he's about to turn twenty-one. So when he was eleven, he did this naughty thing. Where are this boy's parents? Do you know what? I haven't tried Le Fou's Brew that dude, but I can smell, just smelling it, it's really fragrant. It smells like, it's so fruity, it smells yeah, like walking into Lush. The score's red. Um, I don't, I don't think it tastes, it tastes a little bit weird now that I've had the cupcake. You can taste the marshmallow in it, it's bizarre, but it kind of works. It's it doesn't really smell nice, marshmallow, it smells fruity, but then you get this I like say drink twang the drink first and then eat the cupcake because it tastes a bit like the cupcake. Out of Maybe. 10, yeah. me, this is... It's very marshmallowy, which marshmallow and fruit just shouldn't work, but it really does. This is delicious. Val, I'm afraid I actually prefer Le Fru's brew to the grey stuff cupcake. What do you? I like the grey stuff more. I mean, so I, I love the idea of the grey stuff more. I'm gonna guess what I was gonna say, five. I feel like Wait, the score's in. in. Five plus six. Eleven. No! <laughs> no, it's not eleven. Um, it is. Is oh right, five for the grey stuff. Five, no, 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 no. So, five and then like, the food brew gets yeah. five out of ten. Five and, and a half. Five, yeah, five and a half. Five point five. That's a good Right, we're out of the um, Caravan Progress. What did you think of it? It was good. Is that all we have to say? Yeah. Be a bit more descriptive. It was good. It's a classic. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're off. Do you film anyway? Adult. Did you no, film? No, oh, great. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, William. Anyways, we're off to head. We're off to go get a doll whip. I think we're going to get a pineapple one. Are you going to film that? Yeah, of course I am. Right. Where are you going to get it from? A lower horror aisle, you know. That place where they sell the like all works in my kingdom. Did any of that ring in a bell? Uh, okay. So we have ordered a pineapple upside down cake. It does count towards the dining plan. And also there's like this symbol, a purple and white symbol. If if it shows that, it counts towards the dining plan. Let's try it. We're gonna go. give it a go. Let's go. I try the do you haven't tried dough before, so this will be in dough. What do you think? It's quite nice. Is that all you're going to say? I'm going to try it with... Would it taste it by an apple? Yeah. Anything else you want to describe it with? Uh, it's like a pineapple, flavoured, Ice cream. Nah. The cake goes quite nicely with it. It just adds more like more to it. Also keeps the like coldness under control. So yeah, that's our dough whip review. That's it. Aloha Isle for Dole Whips and Dole
Dole Whip upside down cake. So they only have pineapple Dole Whips at the moment. I mean, these are divine. That is divine. Not so well. I remember this now. Someone hold that for me. I told you the Dole Whip. And we also got. Like it. I'm saying it's cheese. Surprised you would like it because it's creamy. What the Dole Whip? Yeah. Really? No, I like it. It's more than it. I'm not sure about this, but William told me to get it, so. Well, you get a Dole Whip and a bit of cake, so. No, Dole Whip does not need cake. I will eat the Dole Whip, someone else can eat the cake. Sorry. Yeah, but I need to try the cake with the Dole Whip. Go for it then. Anyway, they used to have raspberry ones in Aloha Isle last time we were here. They don't anymore. Also, Aloha Isle was mobile order, it's no longer mobile order. Oh, brain freeze. So, um, if we want a raspberry, the closest thing is now a strawberry, which is similar enough. Over in Sunshine Tree Terrace that we had a few days ago. By the way, Aloha Isle Dole in the back. You think? Yeah, because they have this nice amount of cream and they're like, mm. I think they're the back. This is done. So we have found Daddy of Four and Zara. We have checked in for our dining reservation at Crystal Palace where we're hoping to see all the Pooh Bear characters. We did dine here at our first ever Magic Kingdom Day as a family back in 2022. But there were no characters because COVID. So it's really nice that we'll be able to experience the restaurant, which we enjoyed. The location's lovely, it's at the top of Main Street, but there were no characters. The closest one I would compare it to in Disneyland Paris would be Plaza Gardens. Now, Plaza Gardens is on the other side of Main Street in Disneyland Paris and has not exactly the same characters. It has Ear and Tigger from the Pooh Bear Gang, um, and then it'll have like Mickey, Goofy, um, some other character. Who else is in Plaza Gardens in Paris? Uh, Mickey, Goofy, yeah. Minnie, and then Tigger, Eeyore. No, no Pooh Bear. So in here, who are we hoping to meet, guys? Who are we hoping to meet in um, Plaza Gardens? We're hoping to meet Rabbit. We've never met him. Never met Rabbit. Hopefully Piglet. We can Piglet, spy Piglet, Eeyore. Oh, Piglet. Bella can spy Piglet. Oh, Hopefully Piglet. Tigger, T-I-Double-G. Double yeah. And, um... Maybe even Christopher Robin. Yeah. He's Christopher Tigger. Robin. Tigger chat. So Zara has been on a lookout for autograph books. Do you want this one? Oh. Do you, like Do you love that? It's William, you, the, the girls have bought these out of their own money because they've run out of space in the autograph books and they are trip activity planner things. Just that many characters that they have met. Zara Did Zara make a good choice? Yeah. Well done. Okay. Well done. enjoy buffet and the characters come round and they just say it takes about an hour and a half for all of the characters to get round every table because we're on the dining plans it's costing one dining plan credit each included in the meal adults over 21 get an alcoholic beverage then everyone also gets a soda type drink or juice tea and those are unlimited so I've gone for a diet coke the kids have got lemonade. William has gone for a Powerade, which he's never had before. Um, not something I'd, I was wanting to drink all the time, but hey, we're on holiday. The kids have just gone up to get some food, because apparently the character's going to be a little while before getting around to here. So it's quite nice sometimes when you can eat a little bit first and wait for them to come around. But in these restaurants, I find, especially in Florida, they're quite good at coming around and saying, have you seen all the characters? And making sure that everyone has seen everyone. I'm just so happy to be in here again and for things to feel quite normal, not to have to put masks on to go up to get food. The food here was really nice last time, so looking forward to a bit of that. Cars are looking beautiful outside, it's going to kind of golden hour. Sad that it's our last day in the park, so excited because tomorrow we are embarking on Disney Wish. And it's funny, it's a different kind of energy. Um, when we've boarded the cruises before, we've stayed at a primary in the night before in Southampton, and the kids have been like a wind up choice. They're like, so excited, they're like, ready to go, 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 go. They are still excited, but I feel like they're more like a wind-up toy that has not been wound up. Like they are excited, they have the potential, but I feel I feel like after six park days, all of our energy levels are a little bit lower. So we're very excited, very, very happy. 
just maybe not as energetic as um, when we've embarked previous cruises. So I'm kind of thinking, compared to the parks at least, although previous Disney cruises we haven't been especially relaxing because I've wanted to get so much done with the children and run around a lot, I feel like we're going to have to take a bit of time to chill just because the park days are so busy and so mental. Compared to that, the cruise should feel quite mad. We have the most adorable desserts. So we've got 
one for rabbit, pooh bear, honey, piglet, tigger, and eeyore. They are so stinking adorable. Technically, I should probably want to eat the eeyore one, being that I'm dizzy about it as eeyore, but the one that appeals to me the most has got to be the piglet one because apparently it's pink chocolate. Tastes more strawberry than chocolate. Strawberry chocolate, apparently. Who bet is not like honey? Oh no. The ice cream machine. Now, the ice cream machine is a bit weird. I went a little bit overboard because so close. There is self serve, soft serve. Do you have to like put it down and then put it back up? You don't have to hold it. You have to like. There was a bit of a mishap, supposed to say. Okay, let's try the Eeyore one. Okay. This looks like jelly. It feels like jelly. I wasn't sure I'd like that. Jelly, it's very nice. Jelly, jelly, jelly. Not sure what it is. Jelly. You're not liking the Pooh Bear one. Oh, it looks like jelly. Try it. No. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> looks better than the taste, is it? Oh dear. It's all right. <laughs> Have a drink, darling. Yeah, Suffice to say, the Pooh Bear flavored dessert. She likes having a picture taken with it, but she does not want to eat it. What do you think of the Pooh Bear one that Zara uh, does not like? I'm afraid you eat it now. <laughs> <laughs> so Eeyore's making his way over and that would make all four characters. I mean, there's no rabbit today. Um, but to be honest, none of us are just rabbiting as a rabbit. So it's worked out quite well, isn't it? Oh, Daddy could have been rabbit. He could have been rabbit. How's your lemonade? All good. So, thoughts on Crystal Palace? We enjoyed the food last time. Pretty similar to a lot of the other Disney Buffet restaurant foods. Um, one thing I will comment on is the tables feel quite close together compared to some of the other restaurants that we were in. Um, I think, I'm assuming that's why this couldn't be character dining with like a pier and wave. Because they did have some character restaurants. If you think of like Hollywood and Vine, we had character dining there during COVID. We weren't allowed to hug the characters. It was more like they stood six feet away and it was like a pier and wave. It wouldn't have worked in here because it's really tight. So the gaps, it's not like so tight it's claustrophobic, but it's, um, they've crammed up as many tables as they could in. So that's my only kind of, not super negative, but if I had to be picky and find something to criticise, the tables were a bit close together. Other than that, the cast members are wonderful, the characters have been wonderful, they've been amazing with the children, the location's beautiful, the castle outside, the food's lovely. So I'd say that Crystal Palace gets, gets a thumbs up from us. It's a really, really lovely place. And I guess if you timed the reservation properly and you wanted to watch happily ever after from indoors this would be a good place to do it i personally think that it's a bit more electric to watch outside and to be a bit more immersed in it um but if if that's not what you're after then this would be a good place to see happily ever after i'm not sure if they played the music through in here at happily ever after time um i'm assuming they do because they actually did over in the polynesian but um yeah all in all getting a thumbs up from me. Did he? Wait. <laughs> Eeyore, I'm, um, I'm dressed as you look. I've got a bow, like you, and I've got Eeyore. Yeah, I know. We're the same. Forever, forever. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. So kids, we're looking for things for this Disney dining plan, Logan Exxon, so we could spend our snack tokens. All this bagged candy look. All this bagged candy, mini unicorn pops. Okay, should we get mini gummy? Bagged oh, bag candy. candy, so that's all of them. So which one should we have of the bagged Mickey. candy kids? We have one Mickey and one Mickey. One Mickey, one Minnie. Yeah, this one is the ones like the goofy sweets. Those are like the goofy sweets, are they? Okay. Yeah. So we'll get some minis. And these and these. 
Mickey's. Some Mickey's. And then, do you know what I can use these for? We can take them home and you can make candied popcorn at home. Yeah. Does that sound good? Yeah. You want the stitch gummy worms? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because they're yummy. Munchling yeah. bars of chocolate. Yeah. They yeah. are on the dining plan. How that would work. Not the mint tins. No. The munchlings no, are not on the dining plan. We need to look for things with the little. Please. What about poop bag? That's chip and double. Double <laughs> chocolate truffle. Uh, that one you might like. Oh, honey cake. Oh, wow. Kids, these are all on the dining plan. Do you want one of these? You want the Skittles one? Or the mini one? Or the Mickey? What do you want? This one. Mickey looks good. Mini looks good. And we wouldn't have to eat them all tonight. We could take them with us. Yeah. Like this one we can as well. You want Mickey? How about one Mickey, one mini? And then there's all of these. So none of these are dining plans, but they look really cool. These are mini lemon cooler cookies. Oh, that's just a plain Rice Krispie treat. We could get one of those. We could get some mini caramels. We need to check if the candy popcorn's dining plan. Shall we go and check? Yeah. Okay, let's go check. So kids, pick a topping each for your candy popcorn. We're getting these out of the dining plan, but I did promise you candy popcorn, didn't I? There's also promise, sauces. promise. Wait, did you? <laughs> I promised you candy popcorn when we got to Main Street. There are also sauces. Uh, okay, choose um, the sauces. We're just gonna have to hurry up. We need a quick have decision. Have I'm really the uh, caramel. Main Street. We could watch the fireworks from here. It just gets so busy. So we're gonna just see if we can make it round the back of the castle. We've got 15 minutes. Uh, cut it a bit fine, really. It took a lot longer to wrestle the children into their three spirit jerseys and two coats each than anticipated. Okay, slight change of plan. We're gonna sit here, which is just kind of off center of the castle because we found some bench seating to sit on. So we're gonna stay here. It's getting crowded, moving around is, you know. But we can enjoy it, we can soak up the atmosphere and then we can head straight over. We could head straight to do Space Mountain then. Yeah. Do you wanna do that? Yeah. Is that way we're sort of close to Tomorrowland? Is that a good idea? Yeah. Cool, good. We're on Main Street, about to watch Happily Ever After. You feel what? Those Skittles I have too. The Skittles are nice, are right? they? Yeah. And then they're like more sour than the UK. They're lovely. More sour than the UK. You've one. got to have the candy popcorn. Oh, they do love the candy they're popcorn. I had promised them candy popcorn when we back on Main Street. Caribbean beach. Believe it or not, we've been here seven nights. This is the first time I've set foot in here. We literally got dropped off outside and taken in a mini bus straight to our room and then I've just been too busy in the park to come in. It's really cool. We've had the Disney dining plan and we managed to use up the last of our snack tokens yesterday um, by purchasing sweets really to take with us because we've just not managed to eat it all. But we've still got, what's it, five quick service kids meals and three quick service adults meals to, to use up. So, um, we're gonna go and get some breakfast now. We need to find a cruise representative to find out what time the bus is coming to pick us up. Apparently we're looking for someone with a clipboard that says Disney Cruise Line on it to find out the times for the cruise. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get some food.
I've ordered our food um, and I had so many kids meals left that I just bought the kids meals for the people behind us and I've realized I've still I've checked my dining plan we've still got another three left so let's have my breakfast we may as well go and buy breakfast for another three kids rather than waste our dining credits 